In ancient days, noble knights roamed the land, doing good deeds and acts of service for their king. Many of those brave squires served the greatest lord of all, the King of Kings. Travel with us now as we ride with these mighty men of God on their quest for kingdom adventures. Ah, thank you, Penelope. You're getting faster every week. Good girl. Well, good morrow to you, children. It is I, Squire Goofus the Galleon. <laughs> but everyone, guess what? Everyone, guess what? Ah, Sir Praise a Lot has promoted me to Senior Knight in Training. Ah, oh, yes, thank you, thank you for showing the love. That's right. But he did something very peculiar. After he had promoted me, he washed my feet. I know, it sounds crazy, right? But until he had went and explained to me what he was doing, he said this was the same thing that Jesus did for his disciples. I thought, it was interesting, but it's totally true. He says it's a special way for the teachers to show love to their students. Here, let me get out the word of God and I shall show you. <laughs> Excellent. Well, let me see if I can find this story in here and get a nice comfy spot. Let's see. Here it is. In this report, Jesus knew that he'd be leaving soon to go back to heaven. But before he left, Jesus wanted to show his disciples how very much he loved them. So Jesus washed the feet of his disciples, and when he was finished washing their feet, do you know what he said? He said, you need a pedicure. No, no, he did not. I'm just joking. Jesus asked them, do you understand what I have done for you? Jesus was their Lord and King, and they should have been serving him. But Jesus knew that the greatest king is the king who serves his people, and he loves them. Jesus said, now that I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also should wash one another's feet. I have set you an example that you should do as I have done for you. Jesus was teaching us that we should serve those around us to show them our love. I wish I could serve others just as well, but I'm afraid I don't know how to return the favor. Ooh, I've got it. I shall make sure that I go ahead and wash everyone's feet. How about that? Maybe I should start with this side of the room. No, no, maybe I should start with this side of the room over here. Wait. Or how about the entire room? Oh, wait. I think that would be a little too much. I think we should narrow it down to just one person. You, sir, how about you? Yes, I shall wash your tootsies. And then when we are done, I shall commence the royal painting of the toenails. No? No. I don't think that's what Jesus meant at all. Raise your hand if you think that Jesus meant that we should give everyone a mani-pedi. Yeah. No. No, I don't think so either. Maybe the Bible, though, can shed some light on this as why Jesus went and did this. Ah, you know what? It does make sense after all. You see, children, during the days when Jesus was walking on the earth, it was very common for everyone to be wearing sandals. Raise your hand if you wear sandals before. Ah, they're not very, they're not consuming or they don't cover your feet all the way. So their feet would naturally get dirty and probably stinky. Everyone go, ew. Absolutely. So when it came time for dinner, they would go ahead and wash their hands and their feet. Raise your hand before dinner. If you eat, you, you wash your hands. Ah, see, there you go. But you see the Israelites, they would wash their feet as well. Now, in wealthier homes, there were very special servants that would come in and wash the guests' feet as they would enter the home. And it was considered one of the lowest jobs that someone could possibly have. So Jesus had chosen to do one of the lower-end jobs, one of the nastiest jobs, but he did it with love. 
And he did it so that we can learn from his example and that we can show other, other people our love as well by serving them. Now, we don't necessarily have to wash our feet. Why, well, we can do lots of things, uh, like chores. Raise your hand if you do chores at your house. Yeah, like taking out the trash, things like that. It shows love to your family, right? Well, raise your hand if you, uh, ooh, if you teach your little brothers and sisters how to do their homework. Raise your hand if you do that. Ah. Well, raise your hand if you've ever given someone a ride to church if they needed a ride because they couldn't get here. Ah. There are many ways to show people our love, just like how Jesus did. Oh, unless if you want to clean Penelope's stable. <laughs> I wouldn't want to do that. It's filled with, you know, uh, nasty stuff. No. <laughs> Ah, but you know what, children? Jesus never said that we should only do the jobs that we want to do. Jesus did one of the lowest jobs by washing his disciples' feet. And I want to be just like Jesus. So I'm going to clean Penelope's stable. <laughs> Come, Penelope, I shall serve the Lord by serving you. After all, let's say it together, children. Serving the king is the noblest thing. Come, Penelope.